What I'd like to consider in this screencast is a part of neutral geometry that breaks figures up into smaller figures so that they can be rearranged. Uh, what I'd like to do is talk about scissors congruence, and this, this is a pretty big deal. So, by definition, uh, we're going to let R and R prime be polygonal regions we say that R is scissors congruent to R prime scissors congruent to R prime if there exist triangulations where R is triangle one, union triangle two, there are N such triangles, R prime is T1 prime, union T2 prime, there are N triangles there also, such that for each I, T sub I is congruent to T sub I prime. We denote this relation by writing R is scissors congruent to R prime. Uh, this is intentional. This is the equivalence symbol that you're familiar with from Math 239. Its use is intentional here. So what are we saying? You have some polygonal region. You can break it up into a bunch of triangles. You have some other polygonal region. You can break it up into a bunch of triangles. If these are the same and these are the same and these are they're all the same, then the figures are scissors congruent. And we know that if these triangles are congruent, they have the same area. And if these triangles are congruent, they have the same area. And if these triangles are congruent, they have the same area. So what we're saying is that if R is scissors congruent to R prime, then they have the same area. The dissection problem for us The dissection problem is to find triangulations for R and R prime that show that R is scissors congruent to R prime. Now, there have to be N triangles in each of the triangulations, and each of these must be congruent. That's the dissection problem. And it leads us to what we call the fundamental theorem of dissection theory. And yes, this is a branch of mathematics. There are textbooks that are just devoted to this. Uh, we barely scratch the surface in our course together. If R and R prime are two polygonal regions, with the area of R equal to the area of R prime, then R is scissors congruence to R prime. In other words, you give me two polygons of equal area, I can cut the one up and rearrange it and make the other. That's what the fundamental theorem of dissection theory says. As a really quick side note, the 3D analog is false. 
um, you can show that you can, using something called the Dane invariant, which is really cool and worth studying, you can show that if you take two polyhedra, which would be the three-dimensional equivalent, you take two polyhedra of equal volume, it is not necessarily true that you can break the one up into tetrahedra and rearrange them to achieve the other one. Uh, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. The 3D analog is false. One other quick thing about scissors congruence that's worth saying here. Scissors congruence is an equivalence relation. And I had said that our choice of symbols was intentional. Scissors congruence is an equivalence relation. Now, you and I have to remember what that means from Introduction to Proof Math 239. Uh, that means that scissors congruence is reflexive, and that's straightforward. Uh, I can take a polygon, cut it up into triangles, and rearrange it to make the polygon. That's great. Um, scissors congruence is symmetric. If I can take a blue polygon and chop it up into triangles and rearrange those to make a red polygon, then I can take the red polygon and break it up into the same triangles and rearrange them to make the blue polygon. So uh, those two are really, really straightforward. This one takes some doing. This one takes some doing. So uh, maybe I can take this polygon and chop it up and, and rearrange it so that I can get this polygon. So there exists a triangulation that does that. And maybe I can take this polygon and uh, chop it up into some pieces and rearrange them and get this polygon. Maybe there's a triangulation that does that. But what guarantee, because it could be different triangles that I use to make this that I use to make that. And what the proof of this establishes, and I, I'll leave you to read it, it's fine, is that um, if you break the triangles that made red from blue and that will make green from red. You can take those triangles and break them down far enough so that the puzzle pieces are really, really small that they do the job. Uh, that takes a little bit of mental energy to do, uh, but it is doable. Smarter people than, than I have studied it and I've read their work. Okay, some theorems about scissors congruence to follow, but not right now.